Hello, my name is Lieutenant Sal Ganji. I'm with the City of College Park Fire Department, and I've been here for 20 years in the beautiful city of College Park. Today I'm here to talk about holiday safety and to make sure that myself and you have a great holiday season and as safe as possible. Many of you love to get the real Christmas trees. I myself love the real Christmas trees. We love the smell of them. Um, but one thing that we do need to make sure is that when you do get your Christmas tree, make sure that you water it at least every other day because one of the hazards with our Christmas trees that are live is they'll start to dry out and that brings us to the subject of lighting on our Christmas trees. Now in order to make our trees beautiful, we love to add lighting. Now whether it be an artificial tree or a real tree, one of the things that we want to make sure of is that we do have UL approved lighting lights that are made for our Christmas trees. One thing that you want to be sure of is that over time, if you have saved your lights, that they're not starting to peel apart and fray and wires being exposed. Because the problem there is it could short out and catch our tree on fire. In addition to that, multiple lighting. One thing that is a serious hazard is having multiple lights attached to each other. So make sure that you limit the amount of cords that you use for your tree lighting. What is more beautiful than a fireplace over the holiday? Beautiful fire on the logs, peaceful environment. Well, one thing we want to make sure of is that we have a screen in front of this fireplace. The reason we put a screen in front of this fireplace is because as we're burning wood, the embers will start to come off the wood. And one thing we don't want it to do is to catch a piece of your furniture on fire. In addition, we also love the look of holiday candles. Nothing like the smell of a good holiday candle. Well, with that, we want to make sure that those candles, before you go to bed or you leave the house, are blown out. Lastly, what I like to talk about is an actual fire in a home. If for some reason your home does catch on fire, we ask that you please, please get out of your home. This is why during the year we always discuss having a safety plan for exiting your home. If your home does catch on fire, please make sure as you exit you shut the doors. If you find yourself trapped inside your home, please shut the door and start shouting for help and we're going to get to you. Again. I'm Lieutenant Sal Ganji from the city of College Park, and on behalf of myself and my brothers and sisters from the College Park Fire Department, we want to wish you a safe and happy holiday season.